Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, well, let's dive right in with some old school Space Marine parts. So we're gonna cut halfway the leg guards, just a little bit of the kneecap. Be sure to cut very, very smoothly and, and slowly. Be gentle with it, okay guys? Do that for both legs. Very slowly. Now take a nail file and smoothen it out as much as you can. Try to level it to a rather flat surface. Do this for both the leg parts and also the leg parts on uh, the upper torso. Uh, well, not the torso, but the, the upper leg parts. Smooth them off as well. Be sure to smooth out the sides, as you can see there are some pieces still sticking out. Now take a sprue and cut off a, a small piece. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we're gonna cut off a few little pieces of it. Not too big, just measure it up against uh, the legs and the torso. Well, the legs of the torso. Or the feet, just measure it with that. Guestimate. <laughs> we'll snip it off. Here we, you can see the two small pieces. And we're gonna use plastic glue to attach it to the legs. We're gonna cut another piece. Just this can be a little bigger, which we're gonna glue underneath the torso here, as you can see me do. Make sure the flat piece is free, so you can glue the leg part on top of it so that it levels a little bit. Now file the, the top of the legs, file them down so they're, well, level or at least more level than I made them here but, well, it still worked so I'm lucky with that. The flatter they are, the better, they, the better surface they have and the better they will stick to everything. But it works. Because in the end, uh, the glue melts the plastic, so as you can see, it holds it quite well. Now, for the legs, it's a little trickier for the feet. Glue those small pieces on the feet and make sure they don't stick out beyond the back of the knee uh, of the legs or out in front of uh, the shins. So make sure they are level. It doesn't look like much yet, as you can see, it looks very weird, but yeah, it will look good in the end when we're going to use our milliput. Here we can already see the difference between the regular old school Space Marine. Now we're going to mix those two components of the milliput. For about a minute will do, guys. Now we're going to start by filling in the gaps. Now I'm going to use a little bit of water in a second as you can see me do right here and I'm using a rubber sculpting tool this for me yeah you can do the entire lake with it but it takes too long I wanted to get that done quick as I have about 40 more of those marines to go so yeah I wetted it a little bit and started by sculpting it but in the end I simply just use my fingers but always keep them wet keep them wet all the time or you will tear up uh, the milliput it will stick to your fingers and you won't be able to smoothen it out, so keep your fingers wet, okay? I also did a little bit into the torso, but you can't see that, uh, I forgot to film that as well, but uh, just fill up a little bit. For that I did use the sculpting uh, tool, but his, glun his gun is blocking view, so it doesn't matter. Here are a few others I did, and you can see how he uh, stands against uh, the primary Space Marine, and this is what he looks like when he's spray painted. Now, one tip, when you finished with the milliput, do you go back in with a nail file to sand it a little bit, okay, because I didn't do that, but uh, well, in the end it turned out okay, but it's still better that, if, that you take a nail file and sand it down a little bit, okay. And here he is amongst his brothers, with two more I also converted. See? Once painted, they all look good on the table. 
They won't stand out as much as those uh, dwarfy uh, space marines. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video.